Hey guys, welcome back to Small World Snooker Championship 2007 and part 2 of our career mode. In today's episode, we take on Ronnie O'Sullivan in the first round of the Grand Prix. Uh, it, I was wrong in the last episode, it's not the silly round robin um, phase. There is some very interesting matches uh, in the quarterfinal. You've got Barry Pinches versus Stephen Maguire, Stephen Lee, Stephen Hendry. Barry Hawkins, Matthew Stevens, and we could be playing either Alistair Carter or uh, Steve Davis, depending on if we can beat Ronnie the Rocket or Sullivan. Thank you for all the support on episode one. I really do appreciate it. Um, keep the likes coming and, and comment on your thoughts down below. And uh, hopefully the new format of sort of doing the whole match in one episode works a little bit better because uh, obviously the matches are a bit shorter. On this game, but uh, yeah, Ronnie O'Sullivan, it's going to be a very, very tough one, and, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Hopefully we can have a good match in this best of five. Welcome to this first round match at the Grand Prix. Without further ado, let's give a warm welcome to the players. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the arena, Ronnie the Rocket O'Sullivan. Comes the start of the match, Ronnie or Sullivan to take the break then. To break. Well, how's he gonna do? That's a great break off uh, shot. Mm, maybe it's safety time. Might have to just uh, play into the pack here. It's, it's a negative shot and one I never like playing, but I uh, don't think we've really got the option here. That is safe. Oh, come on. There's no way. Well, I fluked open the account the and uh, look at these reds. What a chance to win the opening frame here. I can't believe that Six. went in. He's played Honestly. a good shot there. Eight. Nine. Good shot there. Fourteen. Position's not good. Sixteen. Nice pot. I thought the white was in there. Seventeen. But, uh... That's Super a tough sport, position. isn't it? I mean, a fluke and... 23. We're not even going to get a chance here. 30. Very, very tough. 31. Good shot from Ronnie there. 38. 39. Already... 47. Almost there. Red. 54. Well, red and a black would do it. 55. Oh, pardon me. He needs one more red. 62. But this has been absolutely Good. vintage Ronnie O'Sullivan. And from the fluke, he's managed to win this first frame with a... 70. And that makes for sure that he's won this frame. Super. Can he open with a sentry? 79. He's look 86. 87. 9. He was lucky. He looks oh, totally this black for the, at this point. The sentry. Absolutely brilliant. One hundred and four. Bad positional. I take it back. 
Absolutely brilliant from Ronnie. 111. I'm interested to see how he gets on the pink. Oh, he's underhit it. Well, what a shame. Shall we clear the table for him? Skillful positional shot. Superb ball control. He'll just try to get a bit of feel out there. Well. 18. There we go. Ronnie O'Sullivan with that break of 111. Takes the opening frame and it's 1-0. So already we're up against it. And, uh, it's not yeah. escaped him yet. There's still everything to play for. Well, this way could be behind the green. Ooh, just a little bit soft. Lovely safety. Nice safety from Ronnie there. Um, this is going to be a tough one. I, I am a little bit nervous about just rolling into the pack again. So, well, I don't really see much other option. So. I could absolutely murder a cucumber sandwich about now. Tops off with plenty of salad cream. <laughs> oh, John Virgo cracks any me more up. more relaxed, he'd be asleep, wouldn't he? On this game and in real life, he's uh, honestly a national treasure. <laughs> but uh, that should be safe enough. If he leaves us in the ball, he'll be safe enough, I'm sure. safety he's been practicing spin shots judging by that I don't know what's up with our character he's obviously not uh, a fan of Ronnie's shot there but um, yeah if we can drop this red in get on the black nice shot one and now this is our chance Taking to the black seems like the sensible option show here. what we can do here. If he can't get this, he should give it up. Eight. Not bad. He'll probably want to get position back on the black. It wasn't his best shot, but he'll probably settle for it. Just want to sort of drop this in. Get a nice angle Nine. on the black. It's a decent pot that puts him in a good position. And stun into the reds. I'd be too disappointed to be going for black again. There's no excuse for that. that oh, come on. Forgotten folder. <sighs> the reds went in. That's unbelievable. I think we want to get nicely on the black after this one. <sighs> Look at where the reds were. What a chance that was what? for us. And, well, they're all there for Eight. Ronnie now. Nine. How unlucky was that? 16 17 Nice pot on the black 24 The one thing you would say is that they're all kind of covering each other at the minute so It's got to be careful with the top spin 32 33. In it goes. 40. Last easy red, I would say. 41. Obviously he's got the red over the middle pocket as well. 48. He hasn't played that particularly well. Tough shot, this. Oh, right in the heart of the pocket. And he's brought that red into play. 49. Well, I mean, what a shot. 56. Well, we're already in the position where we can't miss. 57. Just this black for 2 0. Up. That one puts the frame safe. His opponent will need snookers. 64. Uh, well, is he going to pop this? Oh, wow. Beautiful shot there. 
65. I thought we might have a chance of getting snookers, but uh, 72. I was wrong. This is oh, a this really is... tricky double. Really tough. Oh! Amazing well, I don't think it's possible for Ronnie to miss. Lovely positional. I mean, there's twice where I've thought, oh, was we close. could possibly carry on here. No. That's not the best shot. And he has missed it. So, well, Romeo Sullivan. He's conceded, no surprises there. With uh, that wonderful break of 80, 85, I think, takes a second frame. 2-0 up now yeah, with three to play. And that is absolutely crazy how well he's, he's it never played helps in there. To be behind in a match. He has to try and make every shot count. In these He's first not two frames. Well like at the minute. I'm going to have to just mm. lay up once again. He Maybe just keeps covering the, the, the path back to the bulk area, which is you know, very good, but probably quite unrealistic as well. Um, I'll be careful here. I wish I could just press a button to make him take a shot instead of waiting around like this. Yeah, that'll have to do. Touching ball. Wow. <laughs> His opponent could have done a little better. I'll settle for that. It's safe. I'll tell you what, he's not played the best shot there. Ronnie. Can we get the pot and angle of this red? I'm not sure, you know. I think he might have just got away with that. That is unbelievable. Well, as far as Q Sports go, you're watching the finest. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Course not, John. Right. I mean, that's a tough plant if we decide to take that on. Let's just have a look at this. Um, I mean, it's not going far away. It's certainly not going far away. You get so much more information about the shots with all the new camera angles they have now. Snooker has finally been brought into the 21st century. He's never afraid of taking chances, this man. Loves to mix things up. I'm going to go for it. I think we've got to at this stage. We're not going to win on our safety, so let's try it. And it's there. It goes in. Where's the cue ball? Oh, we're Come okay. On. Well, There's a few roads he can go down here. Got to take this chance. The tension is really showing on his face, looking very stressed. He'll be keeping one eye on developing the reds. Seven. He needs to break those reds, and there's no time like the present. I think it's probably now or never. Yeah, went in with a little 40. bit more controlled this time. To try and make sure that it's we... It's a decent pot that puts him in a good position. Didn't foul. That's pretty good. I'm happy with this. He should be able to get the angle he wants from here. So, got to take this opportunity. Spoiled for choice here. Yep, it was a great pot and he got a great position too. 23. This red will give him the right angle on the black to lead him to his next red. 31. I think he's probably got the requisite angle to be nicely on the next red. It's a decent pot that puts him in a good position. 38. He's spoiled for choice Pretty good here. so far. 
There's no reason why he can't get nicely onto the black again from here. Thirty-nine. Forty-six. Skillful shot there. Forty-seven. Drop this in, get onto one of those reds into the right middle. Break that. Just hasn't gone far enough, really. There's but, a few uh, reds available. Decisions, decisions. It's not too bad. Should be okay. As long as we just drop it in. Yeah, nice shot. It's a good pot. And he's well poised for the next. If we play this, he mm, should be able to get the angle he wants from here. Don't want to start messing with uh, side spin on this game, especially after what happened against John Higgins a couple of times. Mm, that's not the best. Two. So, bit of pressure on this one into the middle. Play it with a slight element of safety. But Poor has position. gone in. Now, does that brown oh, no. pass? Yeah, it does. Much happier if we can bring the black into play. So this brown does pot. <gasps> wow. Oh, Ronnie missed as well. I mean, very fortunate there. That red next to the blue spot's a serious contender. So. Fantastic. It's there. Ooh, yeah. And we've got the nice easy brown over the middle. Pressure on this shot. Can he take it? And that'll be the frame. So, we didn't do it in one visit. That's the one he was after. It makes the frame safe. Have managed to do it. Doing a good job here and can do it a little easy for a while. Frame on the board. Enough emphasis on positioning there. Good pot, mind. No. What? So, Ronnie. He's in the unenviable position of needing snookers here. One. Playing on. He's looking rather laid back at the moment. Well, that was a silly shot, to be honest. To be honest, that was a silly shot. Not safe. Just drop this red in and if we see the back of it, that should be the end. And we do. One. Yeah, let's just took them up behind the blue gown with the next frame. Reliable safety. So there we go, Ronnie O'Sullivan concedes, and well, we're a third of the way there. Well, here we go. Uh, we'll try and hit this as thin as possible, really. It's uh, our only chance you would suggest. Um, of keeping it safe. For him. Well, we'll settle for that. We will definitely settle for that. That's gone Tends to play a lot as of well as it could have. Likes to put the pressure on his opponent. So, what's Ronnie going to play? Plays quite an attacking safety. Lovely safety. Now, question is. Well, he's that's looking very one. relaxed. Is he meditating over there? He's going to have to pull something out one. of the bag to get a pot here. It'd be a risky one not to take the safety. It's a tough one. Skillful shot there. But we're OK. One. I think he's probably got the requisite angle to be nicely on the next red. He's only got his mind on one thing, 
potting this black. Just gonna make sure this drops. And it does. A couple of nice little flicks there to get onto this red. You'll probably want to get position back on the black. Nine. I'll tell you what, what a chance this is to send us into a deciding frame. Sixteen. This red should give him the requisite angle for the black, which in turn will leave him on the next red. It's pretty good. Twenty-four. I think. Or has that run too just too far? It has. Well, wow. just have to drop this red in now. Tough shot. Are you kidding me? How was that not dropped? That is ridiculous. The position looks good for him here. So One. It's up to Ronnie now to pot the balls. 8 It's not perfect. He's managed to get it. 9 13 so there's 14. I, th I think the red, the left of the cluster, will pot into the right corner once the, the loose red has gone. 22. Oh, we'll in a second because I think he's going to go into them. Oh, no, he hasn't. 20. Interesting. There's a chance. I think so, sure, probably, but. Uh... Oh, he's brought that red into play. That's not bad. One more good pot for Ronnie. And the frame's at his mercy. Well, what a shot that is. 38. Forty-five. It's looking good with this visit. Nothing spectacular. But he's building a nice break. I just don't know what he's played there. Oh, he's playing safe. Thank heavens that didn't go in. Well. Lovely safety. I thought we were done for there. But. Couldn't have Ronnie. He had other plans and thought he'd give us one more sniff. Of success in this match. I think I might order a curry in. Looks like we're going to be here for a long time. Well, this is a shot to nothing and it's gone position's in. Position's not good. Don't care about position, honestly. One. Now, I think I'm just going to play the, the safety behind the brown. I'm going to have a little look. So we're 27 behind, 59 on the table. Get a good snooker. Nice snooker. Little put a bit of pressure on his opponent, that one. And as long as he doesn't fluke one, which, you know, isn't beyond the realms of possibility, you feel like we should have a decent chance, but... Expert safety play. Well... well. You can see the tension written all over his face, can't you? Hmm. Maybe it's safety time. There is a possibility of cutting that into the corner. Um, or going for this. In the top corner pocket. Which is a very tough shot, by the way. Um... When you talk about the greatest player of all time, I often say Joe Alex Hannard, and he'd certainly be right up there. But I think for all-round ability, it would have to be Stephen Hendry. He's proved his worth time and time again. We're going for it, and it's there. Superb. Oh no! Are we on the green? Have a look at that pot on the replay. Textbook. Are we on the green? He'll leave his opponent in all sorts of strife if he can get tight behind the black. 
Well, we're gonna go for a jump. Which, you know, plenty of people would, wouldn't would blame us for turning this green down, but we're gonna go for it and try and get back into this match. That's gone in. Four. I think we want to get nicely on the black after this one. You'd expect him to pop this one. It's about as good as we, we could have got, really. That's it. Five. And now we got the frame at our mercy. There's a chance to follow up from that good pot. So we board our time. And now... We've got an incredible chance There's no to... reason why you can't get nicely onto the black again from here. Shouldn't be any problems here. To get this into a deciding frame. Just going to have to play this red into the middle pocket. He's only got his so... mind on one thing, potting this black. 20. One more possible. He's not placed enough emphasis on positioning there. Good pot mind possible hurdle but just play it confidently and it has gone in 21 well just couldn't make it up it's a decent break that oh need that to pull up need it to pull up oh and it just has done wow well. Just yellow, green, brown, and blue to take this into a decider. Which, you know, it's not a bad achievement, is it? 33. So just the brown and the blue. We'll leave ourselves as nice on the blue as possible. 37. You can take the frame with this shot. That one puts the frame safe. His opponent will need snookers. <laughs> 48. Well, that brilliant, brilliant clearance of 55 has took this match into a deciding frame. Would you believe it? To all. Well, Ronnie O'Sullivan breaks off. In this final frame. Deciding frame. Well, he'd be mad not to consider the safety, wouldn't he? We're going to go for the thin safety again. Try not to disturb any reds nice and that's went well oh, there's a red that's potentially come out but lovely safety think it'll interest us he looks absolutely delighted oh, I don't know maybe it will maybe it will I think the yellow may come to our rescue if it doesn't go in but it has gone Ambition's in. Position's not good. One. The question is, how attacking do we want to play it? Advantages. He can play safe or go for the tough pot. We could go for the blue, get on that. Well, no, I think I think we've got to bide our time again. I think snooker and behind the brown. And uh, just wait for your opportunity. Don't push the boat out too much. I can't see a way out without coming off the cushion. Well, I can't believe he's played that. The cushion might just present some problems before long. I mean, there's nothing easy that he's left, but it's just right into the corner. That will definitely interest us. And it's One. there. And well, 
all the balls are there for us. You just gotta put them in the pocket. This red should give him the requisite angle for the black, which in turn will leave him on the next red. Hmm. Just don't like any of the any of the, the options, but uh well. Play this with a bit of right hand side, we should be okay here. Yeah, Eight. It's okay. I'm gonna get rid of that red on the. Yep, it was a great corner pass, pocket. and he got a great position too. Fifteen. It wasn't beyond the rail, so it expected a better positional shot there. Well, we might try and develop the black here. Oh, didn't quite go to plan. Sixteen. Difficult pot he's got to play here. Could use a little luck. Be the long blue. And it's there. Uh, 21. He's got the option of the red near the pink. There's a few reds available. Decisions, decisions. problem we're gonna to have to play a little cannon on the pink I think yeah. 22 so we're not I'm ideal sure you'll take the blue again so again just drop the blue in yep yeah. good pot oh dear does that red go no nope. so a bit more tricky uh, of a red. Twenty-eight. Again, just not in ideal position, so it'll have to be the green this time. And uh, we're really struggling to keep an eye on the cue ball here. 31. So 32 ahead. It's a good pot, and he's well poised for the next. One good pot. Got it. And it's there. Well. He should be able to get the angle he wants from here. It's a decent... 38. There's a few reds available. Decisions, decisions. Thirty-nine. Is he thinking pink again? No. I think he'll take this pink on. Gonna take the long blue. On target. Skillful shot there. Cue ball not ideal position for him, but he should be okay. Come on. Forty-five. He knows in an incredibly difficult situation now, and the tension is showing. Just getting to that stage of the break where things are getting harder and harder. That's a good pink. 51. Now, back in prime position. We're 53 ahead. This will put us 59. With just 67 on the table. So this pink. And one more red. For a remarkable comeback. So the pressure is really on now. He'll need to keep his cool. Good shot. And we've done it. Let's get a little bit of breathing room then. Not we now for being a very good positional player, unfortunately. Well, Roger.
Ronnie was in in that last frame. 60. Played a poor positional shot. And hasn't really had a chance since. Sixty-six. Not a straightforward pot, but not overly tough either. Can we get the sentry? We've got the black back in play now, so much more of a possibility. But uh, this has been a good performance from 2-0 down. We've held it together nicely. And we've got our reward. You know, I never expected to win this game from 2-0 down. But we've played some good snooker. Probably the best of the series so far. And, you know, we're going to get the sentry as a reward now. A place in the quarterfinal, and I tell you what, there's not many players that I fancy not beaten. Amazing pop. <clears throat> you know, Hendry's probably the toughest player left in the competition. 98. So we'll keep an eye on his matches, but uh, there's the sentry. Oh, I think I missed this. <laughs> mm. Well, there you go. Not the total clearance, but that break of 101 means we win the match and we beat Ronnie O'Sullivan by three frames to two. Absolutely brilliant there in the end. And we go through to the quarter final and. Uh, yeah, absolutely delighted with that. Who we're going to be playing? Steve Davis in the quarterfinals. He beat Ali Carter 3-0. Uh, Hawkins is through the semi-final as well. Hendry through after beating Stephen Lee. And Stephen Maguire uh, will be playing Hendry in an all-Scottish affair in that semi-final. Who will be going through to play Barry Hawkins? Will it be us? Or will it be Steve Davis? Find out in the next episode. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. Really does help me out. means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular snooker content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.